afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Guys, let's do a motorhome today. Just traded for this really nice, this is a local trade-in, semi-local trade-in. Uh, 2004 National Dolphin LX Sterling Edition. The model is a 6355. It's 36 feet long, bumper to bumper, at its longest point. It's got 54,050 miles. This is a, a Georgia unit, came out of Dalton, Georgia, a little city about 20, 25 miles south of us. And um, same owners had it since about 2011, 2012. And it's a very clean motor home for what it is, very high end for its day. Um, got two slides built on a workhorse chassis. It's got the 8.1 liter Vortec V8, 340 horsepower, 457 pound feet of torque, which at the time was the most powerful gas engine you could buy. It's got the Allison 1000 transmission. It's got the uh, 5,000 pound tow capacity. Got a 5,500 Onan generator that runs great. This is a nice motorhome, guys. Uh, I've got a ton of service records in the inside, at least from the previous owner. Not really anything before 2012, but you know, it looks like they've kept it pretty well maintained. It's got a fiberglass roof. Um, tires look good. Motorhome runs great. No check engine lights, no warning lights, nothing like that. Both slides have awning coppers that were replaced in the last few years. Got the uh, service ticket in there for that. You know, these were pretty high, to, uh, high end for a gas motor home back in 2004. I mean, this was, back then was 130 grand and that's a price of a lot of entry level diesels back in the early 2000s. And the Dolphin, of course, National RV at the time was the fourth largest RV manufacturer in the world and they made a very, very high quality product, but they did cost more. You could look at a comparable Fleetwood Bounder, um, a comparable Holiday Rambler, uh, something like that, and it this right here was probably 25, 30 grand higher. But you got what you paid for. One of the main reasons National were so well is one word, and that's Duraframe. They had a patented Duraframe chassis and or frame, and what that is, guys. Of course, your your workhorse GM chassis is all steel, of course. But instead of going from the top of the chassis to the rest of the RV and uh, aluminum with steel in critical areas, National RV actually put all tubular steel frame, I'm talking about floor, ceilings, and walls, all the way around six sides, front, back, and all that. Steel's heavier than aluminum, but a whole lot stronger. And um, a lot more rigid too. And one thing you'll notice about a Dolphin, and I've said this about other ones too, but really with a Dolphin, you get less squeaks and rattles going down the road because the frame is so rigid. It also has, and I don't know how they got away with this because Winnebago at one time had a patent on it, but it does have a central heat and air system, um, just like a, in a Winnebago Adventure, like I used to own. And you don't have the rooftop units and it's got electric heat pump and all that stuff. Power, or not a power awning, manual patio awning. This before they had power awnings. Michelin tires. And you know they take good care of one, guys, when you look at an older motorhome like this and the previous owners paid the extra money to put Michelins on versus just a, a cheap no-name brand. You know, that's a sign they usually take good care of. And the fact that they kept a lot of service records, too, is another sign. Hardly anybody does that anymore, guys. But looking around it, Got a nice shine on it still. Got the hydraulic leveling jacks. It's a nice unit. Furnace, all that good stuff. Got the Euro style mirrors. You don't have to worry about hitting your head when you when you walk underneath the mirrors. Windshield looks good. And she's a workhorse. Let's look inside. Now guys, this one, still gotta do a little cleaning on it, but 
you can see steps work great original carpets kind of borderline if they need to be replaced or not whenever i get somebody freed up i'm gonna have them really clean them good vacuum it out then then take another look at them um i think they'll clean up just right now i don't have anybody to do carpet so carpet depending on how picky you are you may want to replace you may want to leave it but there, it doesn't stink there's no smoke or pet odors it's just you know after uh after 18 years obviously the original carpet probably seen better days but i think it'll clean up and still last a few more years if you take care of it uh it does have 54,050 miles no check engine lights no warning lights uh backup camera even though it doesn't look like it works on on my gopro camera in real life it's got a good clear picture it's just a refresh rate between the old CRT monitor and this HD camera just doesn't mix. Uh, 600 something hours on the generator. I did have it running, but was down at a quarter of a tank and it, and it was surging like it was gonna run out of fuel, so I cut it off. But uh, it does run, guarantee it to run, put out like it's supposed to. Dash looks good. Looks like they've changed the TV out over the years to a newer tv it's just a little bit smaller uh kind of cd changer guys was the last time you seen one of those and i know the colors in here may not be modern but they just got a good classic look to me of course the curtains have been added by the previous owners so might make curtains for it a sterling package part of that is of course the uh corian countertops that look great no cracks they still got the sink covers and all that stuff, the stove top covers. Both these leather front caps and chairs swivel for party seating. You got slide out trays and cup holders for the driver and the passenger. Um, leather chair right behind the passenger seat. It's kind of hid, but you do have a little fold out table right here uh, behind it. So, you know, if you wanted to readjust this furniture around a little bit, in fact, see if I can do this one-handed. You can uh, pop this table out right here and use that for additional eating service. Uh, little desk area, that front seat swivels around too. You can be using that table as well. All the original upholstery is here, guys, and it looks great. I know the colors, again, may be outdated, but I like it. Um solid wood cabinetry i believe that may be a walnut and these are i mean these are not the lightweight el cheapo cabinets these are good solid wood hardwood just like you'd put in your own home but for what these things cost new back then yeah and now a motor home like this would be well over 200 grand probably closer to 250 for a motor home of this quality in 2022 prices brand new does have a table booth that makes a bed. Again, all your books and manuals are in there. Uh, a lot of service records. Uh, all that's in there. I mean, you got the crown molding, got the carpeted headliner. Everything looks great. Nothing sagging. All the lights work. Every single light switch I turned on works. Do have a fantastic vent fan right here, conveniently in the kitchen area. So in case you burn something, you can uh, you can definitely open that up and suck circulate some air in or out and it's also got a rain sensor and a thermostat again guys beautiful corian countertops no cracks you know they haven't busted the the sink covers or the stove top covers over the years like a lot of people have or they're all there inside the cabinets are clean i mean this is just a super nice uh rv for an 04 you do have one crack on one piece of bevel glass right here which probably been that way for years i don't really think that's really a concern on a 04 but i'm just letting you know about it so there's no surprises when you get here got some nice cabinets up here and that's some thick heavy glass in this thing too these you can tell how heavy these cabinet drawers are you do have a 12 cubic foot uh, RV refrigerator freezer. It does work and it was starting to cool off when the generator started running out of fuel. So I cut it off and I'll definitely have some gas in it for you. 
uh, so you can check all this out yourself. It hasn't been cleaned yet, so I apologize, but the back of the freezer is already getting cold. And I know this works because uh, when the guy, I looked at this thing when the guy brought it in to trade it, because, you know, we always have to appraise trading, of course, in person. And uh, he still had food in the freezer with it on when he brought it up here. So I know it works because I felt it myself. <clears throat> yeah, this is a nice, nice motorhome for the money in the year model. I mean, this thing, if you went, still went by 2004 prices, 100 grand less than a new one back then. It also has a 600 watt inverter and um, look over here guys this is your battery panel batteries are good 14 volts 14.2 well, the ones to drive one's a house battery it's got the gas electric water heater 10 gallon uh, the two ton plus 25,000 BTU ducted roof air with heat pump 50 amp electrical service of course 5500 watt Onan gasoline generator. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Really nice bathroom area to walk through. You can see matching Corian tops in here. Um, this thing has definitely not been out in the weather because the tub is not bleached yellow from the sun coming through the skylight. So that's a good sign. You have, doesn't have it, but you do have hookups for a washer and dryer in case later on you ever want to add one to it. You can put one of those little one piece combo units in there. Water closet, you got a Sealand RV toilet. It's a porcelain RV toilet. And I mean, everything looks so clean in this thing. We hadn't even touched it yet besides uh, 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 giving it a quick bath. I mean, wow. Wallpaper borders not peeling around the edges. I mean, this thing's in really amazing condition for a 2004. But I'll be honest with you guys, I'm a big national fan anyway. I know they don't make them anymore. Hadn't made them in a long time, but they made a good product. Because here's one right here that's 18 years old that is in excellent condition. It's held up very well. And, you know, for a motor home to last as long as this one have and still be in this in this kind of condition, it's got to be two things. It's got to be well built and well taken care of. And this one's obviously had both. And you can see, guys, you got a Queen Island bed here in the back bedroom. You do have solid sliding doors. These things are heavy, too. You got a big closet right here, sliding glass doors. Everything looks good. You got some drawers under here of course you can't get to those drawers when this bedroom is slid in small tv up in the corner that looks like it's been updated as well you can see how thick that wall is i mean look at that guys that's six seven eight inches thick right there that back wall these are actually a four seasons motorhome they're advertised a four seasons motorhome And the Dolphin guys is the brand that pretty much made National RV famous. I mean, this is this is their oldest series, the Dolphin. They even used to make a Toyota version of these motorhomes back in the in the late seventies, early eighties. And um, yeah, this is a you can't you know this is just a great brand for the year, and they're great to drive. They're heavier. So, you know, it may have a little bit less power than, say, a, a, a Coachman Rod, a Fleetwood Bounder, something like that in this size with that same drivetrain on it because of that steel frame. But it'll get you down the road as fast as you want to take a vehicle this size. That, I can promise you, will safely take a vehicle this size. 34.9. And that's us guaranteeing, which, you know, hardly... Dealers don't put guarantees on 04s of any kind, guys. But even though it's an 04, um, we still guarantee the generator to run and put a lot of electricity like it's supposed to. We still guarantee the uh, basement AC to work like it's supposed to. We guarantee the um, slide outs to go in and out like they're supposed to and the steps to work and the refrigerator and freezer to get to operating temp. Um, as well as it 
go down the road like supposed to. I drove this thing when it come in. There's no, there's no driving issues with it, guys. I don't think this one's going to last very long. I think it's a great price for a great quality unit. And um, like I said, it's a local trade. It's not been up north to worry about rust and all that stuff and sun fading from Florida and, you know, states out west, things like that. I mean, it's just a neat, clean, older motorhome. 34.9 Haggle Free Firm. If you're interested, give us a call. 706-965-7929 or uh, you know always call before coming to look or you can go visit our website parkwayrvcenter.com make sure it's available and the way you check that guys is is look on the listing itself on the website if it's got a uh, a decal right beside the name that says sales pending that means if it is got a deposit on it not sold so you may want to call us to put your name in as a backup but it just means it's got a deposit on it, so I can't sell it until the deposit period ends or the customer pays for it, either one. So, uh, you know, if you don't want to call or afraid to call for whatever reason, you can always check the website, parkwayrvcenter.com, and I'll post a link in the video description below. Now, guys, if you go to the website, it's not on there. That means it's sold. It's already been taken off, and the video should say sold, too, at least within a few days of that happening. Um so always check the website or call us to check availability before coming down here because guys these things sell like crazy even with gas like it is i mean we we sold so many rvs in the last month that it's 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 really amazing um yeah uh, almost overwhelming and guys remember that's the only things we guarantee to work um you know what it is you know when you get here we'll plug it in shore power run the generator and let everything cool off and it once all once once we see all that stuff works you can pay for it take it home with you the only thing i got left to do is let that refrigerator run and get cold again um, i'll either put some gas in or have one of the guys do it or plug it into shore power and get the fridge cold and uh i've already tried the slides they work great I've already, uh, generator runs great. And it's pretty much ready to go, guys, besides it needs a cleanup on the inside, which I'll try to get done here the next couple of days when I get some more help in here. And we'll definitely get, um, get that cleaned up for you, get this carpet, let them hit this carpet with a, with a shampooer and get that trying to look a little better. Um... Because right now, I do not have a carpet guy right now. Unfortunately, I haven't had one for a little while. Um, so I have it. I don't really have any way of changing carpet. If I had, I, I may have went ahead and changed it. But I'm going to try to save it for you. But, you know, if you get it and you don't like it, you may have to have carpet put on later on or linoleum or hardwood or whatever you want to put in the floor. It does have ceramic tile floor, by the way. Really pretty ceramic tile floor in the kitchen in the walkway going back to the bedroom anyway thank you so much for watching guys smash me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video feel free to comment share on social media i've got another one beside it a cruise master that i'm gonna try to shoot today if the rain doesn't come back and uh get that going for you but um yeah let me know in the comments what you think about it i love nationals i love the quality of them even their entry level bottles like the sea breezes and stuff like that are just super nice i mean the the quality the build quality is just amazing uh to me even though they're 15 18 years old i mean they just everything about them just feels so solid especially compared to the newer ones um of course that's why they're 15 20 years old and still in this good a shape you know yeah, taking care of ones helps, but if you don't have a, a good base, a good bones to start with, then even if you take good, you can buy you can buy a piece of crap and take good care of, but it's not going to hold up 15, 20 years because eventually the build quality is going to catch up to it. But these nationals just just really really hold up so well, and I always try to buy these whenever one is available, and just got lucky on this one and traded for it.
thank you so much for watching and um keep in mind we charge no extra fees that is a haggle free firm price uh we don't take any less for it doesn't matter how you pay for it doesn't matter where you come from it's 34 nine if you want delivery it's a dollar 50 a loaded mile one way which is a very very good deal for delivery so we don't even charge you for the return trip and if you're interested in that give us a call uh, as far as financing is concerned oh four i don't know if we can get financing on an oh four or not I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the salesperson people answer that question for you. So give them a call, 706-965-7929. And of course we take trade-ins. That's how we got this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And keep in mind we charge no extra fees besides applicable sales tax. And of course, Georgia residents pay a hundred dollar highway impact fee, forty to fifty dollar tag and title fee. Like every Georgia resident does on anything you buy. We're, we're used to that by now. Um, at least if anybody has bought a, a vehicle in the past five or six years is used to that, that lives in Georgia. Now, out of state, that does not apply to you. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for some more videos and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringo, Georgia. also forgot to mention, guys, hit that subscribe button. I promise you I'll save you a ton of money. Got some great RVs. They're all used. Got some incredible prices. That's why people travel from all over the U.S. to buy from us. Got some nice ones. Um, like I said, you're really missing out if you don't hit that subscribe button. But thank you so much for watching and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.